I now request the distinguished delegate of Sudan. Thank you, Madam President. In the name of Allah, a compassionate and merciful, I would like Madam President to congratulate on your election for the President's Session of General Assembly of the United Nations. I would like to also thank the President of previous Session of General Assembly for the wisdom and patience he exhibited during our deliberation. I'm also obliged to extend my patience and exhibited thanks and appreciation to Secretary General and his aides. Madam President, my delegation would like to make the following observation regarding the action plan in order to contribute to dialogue in the plan which will take place over the next few hours. The plan of action stresses that the phenomenon of violent extremism lacks a clear and agreed information. It, can be linked, it cannot be linked to any religion, region, nationality, civilization, or group. This has been clearly and explicitly stated in the preamble draft resolution adopted by the General Assembly today. This is an essential point that we have retreated in order to avoid any stereotyping when talking about terrorism and violent extremism. It is not enough to refer to this point introduction of plan of action. The plan of action should be consistent with this essential point, especially with the regard of condition with this essential point. We should also avoid a potential contradiction between the notion of comparing terrorism and violent extremism and avoid any overlapping and misunderstanding. Second, the plan of action was not balanced when addressing the condition to violent extremism. It focused extensively on the national accept through an approach that is not comprehensive, that focused mainly on the issue of human rights without addressing any other dimensions. Third, it might be useful to take note of the experience of limiting or preventing this phenomenon in countries that neighbor other countries that might be suffering from this phenomenon. In this regard, we note the initiative of the Sudanese government to strengthen the culture of dialogue and moderation in order to combat bigotry. The government has also created certain institutions to address this matter. Finally, the plan of action and important issue that requires concerted international efforts to combat this phenomenon and counter it. The plan of act should not refer to any element that do not enjoy consensus and that might lead to disagreement and might distract the member states of the main task. The international community should support the effort of accountability in cases where national measures cannot be addressed grave violation in manner including referral to second security council or rather the referral by a security council of these cases to the International Criminal Court or to an ad HOC tribunal. Madam President, the resolution adopted by the General Assembly today stresses that the international community stands united to compact violent extremism. It also stresses the importance of constructive dialogue, objective dialogue, to address the shortcoming of action plan and to build the positive element in plan. Mr. President, my country would like to reiterate this readiness to engage constructively and positively in the deliberation on the plan of action in different form. We look forward for world peace, security and stability, as well as respect for the charter and international law, and non-interference in internal affairs of the state through political and economic internal order characterized by justice, transparency, and impartiality, a system that seeks to achieve prosperity and development for all the nation. Thank you, Mr. President. I remain.